All right, hey guys, Rob here, Scrappy Doo, and uh, this uh, th this video is somewhat going to be just a, a quick little, uh, might be like a reaction, maybe if you if you haven't seen the interview that uh, Glenn had the other day with Adrian, uh, you, you missed a missed a lot of neat things that Glenn was showing off that he hasn't even showed off to the the beta group yet. But uh, anyways, what surprised me first uh, was uh, you know we have Adrian over here. He is the host. He is running the eCam show. Uh, Glenn is the Skype guest interview that is brought in via Skype, Skype caller, call, call recorder. But uh, we're, we're going to see uh, Glenn uh, and his background. Uh, it's, it's going to change. He's going to pull out his green screen, and he's going to use a green screen effect. And, uh, y you know, as a as a Ecamm Live user, I'm, I'm like, how's, he, how's Glenn doing that? Because usually the green screen right now is just for the, the host of the Ecamm, which would be Adrian, right? So anyways, uh, Glenn's out there pulling up the pulling up the green screen, and we can see him change the scenes and everything. So uh, I was like, whoa, 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 how's he doing that? Plus, uh, it, you know, Adrian, his hands were folded up before, and I knew that he wasn't touching anything, right? So I anyways, uh, Glenn sort of uh, <laughs> sort of spilled the beans on uh, what he has been testing out uh, in-house there. Essentially, what he said is he, he has Ecamm Live open, and uh, in the application, uh, like like Zoom or even Skype, uh, for example. Let me go ahead and somewhat show you this. I don't have that kind of copy yet, but I can sort of uh, explain what's going on. So, so, so for example, uh, you, you have the Zoom uh, Zoom open, and uh, essentially what they are doing is uh, if I were to go to the preferences and I go to video, we would be able to see uh, the uh, drop down, it should say like Ecamm Live, right, as, as a camera source. And what that means for us is anything that Ecamm broadcasts it, that is uh, in your little Ecamm viewer window, whether that be desktop, a video file, that, and so on. I meant that's what would be broadcasted to to Zoom, to Skype, uh, I meant uh, it shows up as a, as a real webcam. So that, that, that's really neat, really neat. Look forward to that. I uh, hope that it works out because that, that's, uh, that's been a feature request one of mine uh, for a long time. Okay. Um, now, the, the other thing that, uh, that Glenn brought out in the interview, and again, if you didn't see the interview, the link will always be in the description below uh, that Adrian did, which is uh, the future plans in 2019 for moving uh, Ecamm Live to uh, a different type of model. All right, so I'm, I'm going to let like Glenn here really explain this, but uh, the good news is uh, we we'd be grandfathered in, right, uh, as as current Ecamm users. So let me go ahead and pull this one. Up. And and something that I and and just finally I'll mention um, something that I I don't think I've mentioned um, on the beta group or the community is that we're working on changing the, the licensing model for Ecamm Live. Right now, it's it's uh, um, it's it's $79 one-time fee yeah. for that. Uh, we, we've we've kind of come to the conclusion that um, bringing it in into a service model, a software as a service model, is, is the way to go for this. So we will be, at um, some point in early 2019, um, adapting Ecamm Live into, into a monthly or annual subscription. Yeah, and that's going to give us the ability to just go crazy on these features and add really cool stuff. And the cool part is, and this is really excited about this, is everyone who has bought Ecamm Live already is like all set. Yeah, they're going to be grandfathered in to a perpetual license of of our of our subscription service, like for the rest of eternity. So it, it's yeah. So. So what uh, what Glenn just said is they're they're going to be moving to a subscription based model, right? And uh, you know he didn't go into pricing or anything like that. But uh, the the good news is uh, you, you buy eCam or you have eCam now, you're you're not going to have to worry about the the monthly fees. But uh, it's good for eCam, Glenn and his brother and, and their company uh, because they're going to have revenue that uh, that is continually um, coming in, 
right? Uh, which is just going to help better the program, right? But uh, obviously, the uh, you know pricing points they are you know not too unfamiliar for other services, right? Uh, Be Live is a subscription-based, uh, Streamyard subscription-based, uh, you know, even Switcher Switcher Studio uh, subscriptions-based and stuff. So uh, again, do feel lucky that uh, early adopter uh, of of Ecamm Live, um, but uh, again, I if they're going to continue to work hard at uh, at developing the software and making it better and better, uh, I meant why not? Uh, why not have that continue revenue and everything? But anyways, th those are the the highlights uh, that that I thought were very interesting from the the interview that that Adrian did. All right, but uh, yeah, all links will be down below uh, of this video. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll we'll see you next time. Okay. Take care.